This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, it's 6.53. Time to get you ready to take on your Tuesday in the Morning Sprint. Olivia Roberts has a look at the first public hearing on the deadly Capitol insurrection. And Destiny Richards is live at the grand opening of Baba, a new restaurant in Kendall Yards. But first, to Mark Peterson tracking another breezy day in the forecast. Yeah, definitely. And those winds are going to add to that wind chill in our first alert weather. And that weather app, by the way, the app store available free of charge. You'll see all of what will be tomorrow and today's forecast come to fruition. It's going to be breezy today, partly cloudy with showers this afternoon. Then we're going to see the sunshine on Wednesday and then more snow Thursday morning. That looks to be the morning hours one to two inches expected. But we're going to see rain or snow showers, maybe some grapple today in the afternoon with a high of 40. Avalanche dangers are affecting roads and drivers in the Cascades. Those who were planning to travel east across Stevens Pass last night were stopped at milepost 74 yesterday afternoon because of the avalanche pictured here. The snow only blocked one lane, but conditions made it too dangerous for crews to get in and work. Washington Department of Transportation closed a nearly 20 mile stretch of the road through the night beginning at milepost 58 and a half. Crews will check the area later this morning and give us an update. Spokane police have arrested a man for stealing a catalytic converter. It's been an increasing issue for car dealerships across Spokane. Police say Robert Evans went to sweatshop auto sales in North Spokane yesterday. He's seen going under a truck, taking a converter, and then taking off in his car. Hours later, a shop employee actually found the car in a parking lot, and that's when police arrested Evans. The owner of Sweatshop Auto Sales says he's already lost more than $7,000. The shop did end up getting that part back. A wrongful death lawsuit that began in 2017 has come to an end. The Spokane Valley family just won their battle against Alaska Airlines, which was found responsible for the death of their mother. That's Bernice Kikona in a wheelchair going down the escalator in the airport in Portland. Alaska was supposed to provide an escort to her gate. When that didn't happen, well, she set off on her own and ended up at the bottom of that escalator. Bernice suffered a serious leg wound that got infected and led to her death. Yesterday, a jury ordered Alaska to pay nearly $3.2 million to the family. It's been more than a month and a half since the deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. And now lawmakers begin hearings on what happened and how to keep that kind of situation from happening again. Now, in just minutes, the first of two hearings by different Senate committees will take a closer look at the security failures that led to that breach. Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar is the chair of one of those committees. She was inside the Capitol that day. Now, the biggest question she wants answered, what happened and how can we make sure it doesn't happen again? Other key questions. Why was the response from law enforcement delayed? And how were rioters able to breach the building? But the hearing won't just be a fact-finding mission. There's also a push to uncover what kind of change needs to happen. Four witnesses are set to testify starting at 7 o'clock our time. Okay, middle and high school students will soon be heading back to school. Tonight, parents of high school students will get a look at what class will be like come March 1st. Last night, it was 7th and 8th graders who were getting a clearer picture. Students are divided into two groups, each going to class twice a week, then alternating Fridays. Students will have four minutes to get to the next period in order to lower the risk of transmission. They'll go home at 3, but teachers will spend the last half hour with kids learning online. Governor Jay Inslee will be in Spokane today to tour Stevens Elementary. The tour is to show the governor how schooling under COVID-19 restrictions works for students and teachers. Governor Inslee will meet with students and staff at 1130. We will tell you about his visit tonight on 4 News Now at 6. Today is the grand opening of Baba, a brand new restaurant here in Kendall Yards. It's where the wandering table used to be. Same great food though, but this food has a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Asian twist to it. So lots of new flavors for you to try. They're opening today at 9 a.m. and are open daily. We have the hours here on your screen. Just take note and plan to come on down to Kendall Yards to try their amazing food. Spokane's Lilac Festival was canceled in 2020 and it won't be happening this year either. Organizers said pandemic obstacles make putting on the event impossible. They do say they're working to put on a holiday parade in November to make up for the loss of the traditional spring parade. We will bring you updates on that event as soon as we learn more. A bar in Coeur d'Alene says it will no longer serve people from Washington. This weekend, the corner bar blamed Washingtonians for being rude and blaming them for what they call crap and chaos in the area. You can read Coeur d'Alene Police's response on KXLY.com.
back with a final check of weather after a quick break.